Hey kids, how we doing? So, look what came in the mail today. I really wasn't expecting, expecting? I was not expecting to get this straight away. I was not expecting to get this straight away. I think, I don't know how long this has been shipping for. I last thing I saw was Mitchell Land uh, was uh, showing some pre-shipping uh, copies of this, you know, kind of proof copies or whatever, and that was the last I saw. I haven't seen anyone post any pictures, and I'm sure on the most uh, informed and insightful consume world, there's full discussion about the quality of the components and all the rest of it. Screw those guys. Let's have a look, because I want to see. I'm going to say it was a surprisingly light package, which is kind of cool, and I think that might, the reason why I think it's light is because next war career, I've got probably two sets of rules in there and a bunch of other stuff. I don't know what the components are for this one. Let's see. Let's, this is just a one mapper for a start. Three counter sheets versus how many counter sheets on this bad boy? It doesn't say. It says a thousand and twenty-six nine sixteenth inch count of counters. Uh, but we got a rule book. Standard advanced rule book specifics, no separate, uh, and then some players, seven players. Holy dooly, you can see some of the artwork there. Uh, so, I'm really curious about this game because I think this is a situation where the, the two combatants are po potentially more equally opposed to each other than perhaps in next war korea where really you've got to amp up the the north koreans to be you know beyond the realms of possibility arguably to make a bit of a show of it right so i'm i'm kind of keen to see what this how this game will play and in fact i'm thinking that this particular module will be my virgin experience into this next war system so Let's uh, let's have a look inside. So the artwork is pretty interesting on the cover. It's f it's photographic in nature as opposed to drawings and pictures, whereas uh, which is the same for same for next war career as well. I like it. I like the artwork. It's it's always an interesting choice what they put on these things. All right, here we go. D10. Some dude named Arthur by the looks of it. Did the check, let's see if he did a good job. So we got our game specific rules, clocking in at 27 expansion counters, advanced game. I had an opportunity to play this on Vassal as a play test with Mitchell or with one of the, the, the chaps that was helping develop this. I'm sure his name's in here somewhere. And unfortunately I could not get my shit together in time to to play a game. I cancelled twice and uh, just decided that I was being a tool, so I stopped. Stopped trying. Alright, two terrain effects charts by the looks of it. Very well articulated. Uh, movement effects for each of the many different unit types. There's a, looks like there are six different types of light infantry, five motorized, five mechanized. You see that okay? And then it goes on down through here. Combat effects as well, blah, blah, blah. All the usual stuff. Okay, what do we got here? A phase track. General records track for points uh, and bits and pieces. And on the back, something that looks like it could be cut or folded. International posture matrix. Well, wow. sounds very political, doesn't it? Standard and advanced combat tables, power drops, clearing operations, etc. etc. More on the back, standard game air points. Power drops, that'll be interesting. I never actually really thought of the Indians or the Pakistanis having paratroopers, but I guess they probably do. I already have this downloaded, I believe, so there's already an update on that guy. Standard sequence of play. Explanation of the unit types on the back. They're pretty busy counters. There's lots going on, particularly if you're looking at the air units, right? You've got their range, uh, you've got their pilot skills, and you have strike and combat support capabilities. 
air-to-air -air combat capability. So this is obviously kind of a straight across the board, very much the Third World War uh, ratings. All weather indicators, stealth indicators, unit types, all sorts of goodness on there. All sorts of goodness. And that is one long segment to play. Look at that bad boy. But detail, right? And detail is what you want once you know the rules. So you can just kind of check in and check out. Ooh, U.S. intervention, perhaps? And China intervention. Well, that's going to be interesting. See, I didn't know Russia and India. Okay, Russia as well. Okay, now that's going to make stuff interesting. See, I didn't even know there were going to be Russian units in here. Or, uh, or Chinese, for that matter. What have we got here? This is a big chart. This is some sort of... Uh, what are we doing here? Oh, air. Yeah. Looks, looks like this is uh, for the air war. I don't know if you can see that with the glare. But basically you've got boarded, flown and ready. Holding boxes. Same for these dudes. Air superiority missions and stuff like that. Diego Garcia, US carriers, India. Very nice. Advanced game tables. More advanced game tables. All the usual good stuff. I mean, I've read these rules uh, one and a half times, and a bunch of changes came out. And I was like, ah, you know what? I'm going to wait a while until we see what happens with uh, with the rule set. Nice counters, nice big counters. Let's zoom in and have a little bit of a look at that. Nine sixteenth size, decent thickness. I'll show you the edge there. You can see that, and that's white core, not gray core. For those that care, we'll flip over to the backs of these in a second. So I guess we've got some Chinese and Soviets and things like that. U.S. forces, tactical nukes. Always got to love a little tact nuke action. I'll post some photographs up later on as well. Looks like tactical nukes are expected to be used, given the number of uh, counters there are here for it. That's pretty sweet. What's a game without tactical nukes, really? What the hell are we thinking? I'm not sure what these are for. Oh, look at these bombers. That strike fear into the heart of the enemy. Clearing. Don't know what that's for either, so. Alright, that's that guy. Back of this dude. It's just probably reduced format, yeah. Nothing too exciting to see here. It probably is, but I'm missing it. Picture of a missile. What's on the flip of that? Yeah. Points. Okay. Baggies. Map. Map is going to have the same kind of rich, dark browns by the looks of it. Probably seen the vassal module or seen pictures of the vassal module. I've got the map upside down. I actually had to jump on Google to see where uh, how all this terrain related to each other and the rest of the world. I mean, I knew where Islamabad was, but I didn't know where it was in relation to anything else. A uh, bunch of Indian and Pakistani places that you probably have never heard of before. Lahore, you've probably heard of, right, in Pakistan. And there you go. It's all the border towns, right? Kashmir Valley. All right, so there's your map, right? And, you know, it's functional, big hexes, nice looking. Nothing too, nothing too over the top, too garish. This uh, almost looks like something that could be fairly consumable. Now let's see if we have advanced rules. Let's see if we have scenarios in here that give us some small things to let us get a flavor. Bloody, bloody, blah. I bet you the scenarios will be in this book. What do you think? Yes. Page 15. Let's have a look at this first before we go any further. Standard scenarios. Two, four, six units, eight units. So there's a nice small scenario based around Kashmir, then there's one with the Chinese in it, 
Is that another one? No, that's the same. It's, so the Chinese come in with four. Some reinforcements. That's probably a 20 or 30 units. So I don't know if you can see that with the, with the glare, dude. Sorry. And there's one on Lahore. That's quite a few more units and reinforcements. Looks like it's uh, go go big or go home off the bat in advanced scenarios. Determine the intervention levels for the US and China and Russia using the posture metrics or the alternate intervention levels. Okay, we'll do that. Very groovy border war. I'm getting the impression this is a campaign game. 12 turns, 6 weeks. Extended build up. Very interesting. Now, who was the developer for this one? Uh, Dale was Doug Bush. I think. No, no, no. Hang on. Yeah, here he is. Chris Fawcett. He was a chap that I was trying to uh, hook up with to play. Never did. I suck. All right. Uh, and the rules this is the, the Mio system rules. Ooh, pretty well laid out, pretty well organized. Nice full color. Got the shiny paper. Quite a few examples in here as well, etc., 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 etc. With design notes all well laid out. Uh, I guess you can't see any of that since I had it zoomed in. Sorry, fellas, ladies, and germs. That's you know, it's pretty word heavy there. Right? There's not a lot of big pictures, <laughs> so you're rocking. Let's see, you are rocking a solid 30-some pages of rules, which is to be expected given the, the gamut of operations you're going to be running. Uh, special forces and air and choppers and tacticals and subs and all that fun stuff. That's going to keep you busy. All right, pretty cool stuff. Well done, Mr. Land, Mitch Land. Look forward to seeing you in February, if all goes well. And uh, maybe we can get a little primer on uh, on this. I don't think I'll get, I'm going to get to it prior to then. But that looks very, very, very intriguing and very interesting. And it's a great package GMT, so... Uh, pardon me. So if you're interested to see who's going to take the final Papa Dam, next war, India-Pakistan. That's the place to be. Talk to you soon.